clover here. Today, I'm going to be interrogating a man called Kashif Patel, who has lived in my neighborhood for 23 years. Kashif is the owner of a shop, well, a string of shops and businesses, but we believe at British Border Force that he is working here illegally, employing illegally, because it's just him and his gang that's here, and he's not paying his taxes. So, they've called me to come and get the truth out of him. Let's see how this goes. Hello? How are you? Right. Let's cut to the chase then. <clears throat> Patrick, why have you arrested me? Right. We're not friends. Don't call me Patrick. Like, you don't know me like that. Do you understand? Patrick, I've seen you grow up. I know. The reason for this. You and your friends used to rob the off-license. And you was the only one who got caught with skittles in your pants. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Is that... If, if, if this is your attempt at an apology, it's too late to apologize. Well, Mr. Kashif Patel here, he used to bully me when I was younger. He used to work in the Londis that me and my friends used to go to. And he just used to single me out all the time, telling me that I stole Skittles. I'm not stealing Skittles. I'm here to crack down crime, not improve it. Oh, you know, I, I, I did take a few, you know, Harry Potter just stuffed them one, one time, but yeah, yeah, you know, when you're a kid, this stuff, stuff kind of happens, doesn't it? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it kind of happens. Um, and, and, and now he wants to be here. He apologizes. Then what must I do to get out of here? Well, I'm going to be asking you a series of questions about yourself and about the United Kingdom to determine whether you're going to be able to stay or we're going to get you out. But. I'm not good at general knowledge questions, I'm just a shopkeeper. It sounds like a you problem, mate. I'm just doing my job in immigration, cracking down crime in prime time. Right. <clears throat> I went undercover and tried to apply for a job at, you know, one of your many uh, off licenses and gyms and stuff that you own, but I wasn't successful, I never heard back from you, you guys. Why is that? I don't, what has that got to do with me? Well, you're the only man. No, but I, I don't run the recruitment side. Well, it just seems to be just your guys that's there when, you know, when I go there. What about cultural diversity? Huh? And when I walked in there the other day, I said I'm speaking to them in English and they're just replying to me, yes, no, yes, no. Right. I don't know. They, they speak fine. Oh, they speak fine. Well, maybe to you. What are you speaking to them in? What? Gujarati? Do you understand that this is the UK? Yes, I did. But, but look, you can understand me and I can understand you. What do you say? Sorry, what was that? Come on, you understand me, Patrick. The what, what? <clears throat> We're going to move on swiftly. <clears throat> so, um, in the last three visits that I've been to one of your institutions, I've seen Nikhil, Dipak, and uh, Sakaib. Where do you find these guys? From back home. From back home, right. So you're trafficking people to the UK? No, no, not traffic, they come by plane. Oh. You're on the big business, Al Patina. Right, so you're flying people by cargo, is it? Yes, cargo. Cargo, cargo. Oh, that's it, mate. Oh, you're in more trouble than I thought. By cargo. You see, I know it, okay? It finally makes sense. I've been wondering, where do they all appear from? One air, one air, one air, one there. It's like an infestation, mate. Like a pack of sardines. Just pop out of nowhere. And they're always together. What about us? What about us? Can you imagine? Alright. So quick question. 
if England was to go to war, you know, um, with your country, you know, the Apnas, Gulas, Kalas, and the Wagwans were to go to war, what country are you supporting? I would support my country. I knew it. I bloody knew it. You're a spy. You're a spy. You're a spy. James Fond. You're a spy. Hey, what is the Queen's sister's name? I don't know. Of course you don't know James Pond. What's the Queen's sister's name? I said I don't know. What was that? I don't know. Come again. Don't know. What? You don't know. You say you don't know. That's the wrong answer. I'll tell you that for free. Right? Because uh, nobody's called I don't know. <laughs> right. So, next question. Who built the big Ben? The Ben is big. Are you thick or something? Who built the big Ben, the big clock? Who built that? The, the, the Ben is big. Was it Ben? So you don't know, but I, I, I bet you know who built the Taj Mahal. I bet it was one of your, you know, your, your, you know, distant cousins or something. I bet you know that, don't you? Right. How much do you have to earn to be in the higher tax bracket within this country? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Please, I do not know this. You don't know. But you've got a nice car sitting downstairs. I've seen you driving a Range Rover. I've seen you driving a Bentley. I've seen you on a, 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 a motorcycle. What you don't know about the higher tax brackets? Patrick, look, all I know is us Pakistanis, Indians, we, we work hard for our money, you know? So what are you trying to say? The rest of us don't work hard? No, no I'm not implying that. I'm just, I'm just saying that look, we work hard for our money. So if we spend it on you know, some delicacies. A delicacy. So now a Bentley is a delicacy. A Bentley. Wow. But you don't know what the higher tax bracket is. Interesting. Right, so you are avoiding tax, tax evasion. Oh, trust me, mate. My mates, HMRC, are going to hear about you. Oh, we're going to be looking into you. Humbrook? Was that? Was that what? Humbrook? I'm HMRC, Hamrak. Hamrak. HMRC. Her Majesty's RC. Has King Charles got hair on his head or does he wear a toothpaste? Yes, he has hair. So you've been watching King Charles's hair? What a weirdo. What a weirdo. Out of all that, he always has hair. What a weirdo. He's always on TV, Patrick. Oh, is he? Who's Prince Harry's wife? Um, his wife? Yeah, what, who is she? His wife. She is his wife. I don't bloody know how you guys stand in this country and you don't know the basics of our land. I don't know how this is going on. You don't know the basics of our land. Who's the shortest servant Prime Minister? Liz Strass, I know that one. Oh, okay. I've noticed about her. You probably fancy her, don't you? No, it's not just a fool. I am married. You're married. So what does that mean? Don't you have eyes that you're married now? I don't mm. look at another woman. Yeah, right. You see, that's how he catch them out. He claims to know a lot about Britain, but he doesn't. And he's lived here and been profiting off this country for years. Right? One out of six. That is bloody atrocious, mate. What, what is that like? 16%? Come on, mate. Yeah. That's not very British, is it? Right. So, we've come to the end of your assessment and you have one out of six that you got correct. And so it's regrettably that I have to tell you excess is denied. <laughs> but... I don't want to do that to you because I can't remember your face from back in the day. And so um, I'm going to cut you a little deal. 
Fitz, you've been saying all this stuff about me having skittles in my briefs, which I don't know what you're talking about because I've never stolen in my life. I need you to go and get me some skittles from that vending machine over there. No problem, but you can't have them for free. You must pay for them, no problem. Are you alright? Wait, this is not your shop. Skittles, as agreed. But that's not it. Oh, you think you're just gonna get me a pack of Skittles and then you're walking scot-free, mate? Mate, you're in a detention centre. I know I have the power to send you that way. Oh, that way. That way is back home. That way is out of here. Now, if you want to be out of here, what I need you to do, tell all your fellas that work with you in, you know, the, 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 you know, the gyms and the off licenses and the stuff that you own, that I want to be able to go and come for a free workout at your gym. And then when I finish, I need a chicken vegeta sandwich, skittles and drink. But at a discount to it. There is no discount. What, are you not reading the room? Are you thick or something? Mate, I'm, 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 I'm giving you an opportunity to continue your services or do you want to go back? Come on, man, give me a break. A break? Give me a break, mate. I, I want, I, 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 I need some uh, whatever it is that you've got going on, mate. Give us a break. Okay, look, fine, I'll, I'll consider it, okay? Consider, I need you to tell me that it's a done deal and then the deal's done. Okay, the deal is done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, you know what? That's what I'm putting. I answered all the questions correctly. <laughs> we all know the truth, don't we? You better go and get yourself educated on the foundations of this country. Yes, sir. I don't want to see you back in here again. Fine, Patrick. Right. You're a free man. Thank you. Tell uh, you and your 17 brothers that I looked after you, so they need to look after me, right? Sajid is not my name and I do not have 17 brothers. Okay, get back. <sighs> yeah. I'm extremely proud of everything that I've done today. Um, you know, I may have let Mr Patel go, but that's fine. You know, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on him and all his little businesses that he's got going on and be making sure he's paying his taxes to HMRC, mate. Right? Because there's a girl in there that I fancy and uh, I'm trying to make sure I get her good books, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't tell her that. Don't, don't show her this bit. You be a job's worth. Am I a hater? What have I got to hate? What have I got to hate on, man? Right? There is nothing for me, though. I'm secure. This is my country.